Hi beautiful people, I know, yes I know, I know it's been a while, I know it's been long, yeah, things went, tutasima zilienda south, yeah, so in case you're new here, my name is Angel Degwa, and I missed you all so much, I'm not yet fully back, actually as I'm filming right now, I'm using my friend's phone, I lost my phone and that's it back to that shortly, so uh, this is just a short clip, I don't know when I'll be fully back. That's why I just thought of... She was the one actually who advised me uh, that people are missing me here on YouTube. And it's been long since... Uh, like it's It's been a month since I posted. And I thought why not let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm not sick. Just that I lost my phone uh, September. That is 9th of September. So uh, we were uh, somewhere chilling with my friends. And a hawker, nilibiwa simu na hawker, I'll mix Swahili and English, I just hope you don't mind. And I hope you guys have been doing well. So I lost my phone on 9th September. We were just somewhere chilling, we just had a bite. It's a local, easy uh, shops, nakaa container, so tunukua place, tunakula, tumemaliza, and then we were taking some sodas. My friend was having maybe some shorts and ETC. So hawker akakuja, uh... He was very cheerful, by the way. Kahoka took a young, by the way. I actually came to realize that he is 25. 25 years. Because niliona ID yake ni 1998. Umo nyalimibia simu. So, tukio he came. He was very cheerful. Haka sema, uh, Hey, check in hii. Nikona, 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 nikona game. Uki guess, uh, wait yako. Ukose na minus one ama plus one. I won't charge you. So we were like, why not? Tu nimsi anajua biashara, he's still young. Kuliko watu wanaibia. Actually, I told my friends that wawu wow, anafanya vizuri. Hata kienda ambia watu vivo. Haezi, hakuna msi aneza kosa kumpromote na kupima weight. I think, ikienda sana ni 20 bob. But he, uh, yeah, halikuwa na sumana lipisha 10 bob. But I ended up paying 20 bob. I'll explain why. So tukapima weight, mindo nilianza. So I guessed my weight, sita taja, but then you may add the weight, but I won't mention the, uh, my weight. So I guess you, and I had, I had, I had like two weeks previous, not the same month. So I had a little bit, and I had a little bit, and I had like twice. Eh, I had a home now. So I had a little bit, and actually we were three, my friends were two, and then I had a group of four people, and I had just, just, Next to us, but not the same seats. Chuka mamna elewa. Yani ni kama hapa kuna seat na kuna zingine pale. So walikuwa meka pale. We didn't know them. Walingia nyuma yetu actually. And they were having some drinks over there. Kuli kuwa maafta nuni hivi. So we had gone to meet my friend. Haja kuwa Kenya for a while. So tukaenda kumit na uobeste angwa nituwa shiko. Hei, simi ni kanza kupima weight. Ata wale waka kuwa chiafu. Yani waka sema, hei, wata sisi ya tapisi. Pia si tupime beste angwa. Waka pima pia alikosea. The uh, the person we had gone to meet, our friend, yeah, hakupimwa. So, wakaenda kwa next. Wa wakapimwa, apo kuna moja mwenye guess correct, na hakulipishwa. Awe gine, I think, walilipa na moja, wando walilipa na pesa. So, uh, for us, ni nika ampea. So, aka nika mzawit, ni 10 bob, nipatie 52. Ubaki na, the rest, chenju, nikuwa naisabuikiwa 10 bob. Waka nambia, pana, ni 20. Ah, cause, tu niliona ni msechi hafu, na anafanya tu job yake. I was like, ah, 10 bob, nayo, why not? Mm, nika ampea. So, Nika mambia kitu wali keep change. So nika mali baki na change. Kitu tuseme 60 bob yangu cause kama li tulipisha 2020 na sisi tulipimu watu wa wili. And then I rushed to the washroom. Nika ikelea phone yangu hapo kwa meza. Hata za babiste zangu zilikuwa hapo wana charge. Cause it's, it was somewhere open. As in tulikuwa tunajuana na jua babiste yangu. Wezi tukwa sumu yangu. As in siju ka una get. And then yumuna inanga pilis na babiste yangu. Kuna meza mambia nishiki phone in the show. The one who can steal your phone. So mi nika inda washroom. Kurudi. I actually nika patana na hako kajama hapo kwa entrance. Juhu mm. kulikuwa na osho ni hapa and then entrance ya yu place tulikuwa. Kaka niangalia and then kaka niambia eh, mna, nasi mna jinais. Eh. Tuka kambia eh, nika kambia eh. I was like eh, haka jama, ok, hi through, maybe ni juhu tumempromoni, mimi mwambia keep change, wame babika maybe, na mimi. Nika rudi, nika, nika kaa chini. Saa nika ambia best yangu, nipe phone. Haka nimbe ujenda na simu yako cho. Hapo wa nipo tulijua kime turamba. Kime tura? Kime turamba. So, Ika baki tumeuliza wanyo likuwa next na sisi wakitambia siyako ajama kama mechukua. Niyo simu likuwa hapa juu. Na sika mechukua mi ni kathani ni yake. Besti yangu kusuma mi ni miuna mechukua pia batu sijadhani ni yako. Unona? Aki ya was like so shocked. Wacha ni toke ni kimbie. Ni enze kumtafuta. Uwezi juwa kama ameenda hivi ama ameenda hivi. And it was late. Likuwa kitu around 8. Mi ni kajua tu simu yangu imeenda hivo. 
So kurudi wale walikuwa next remember nimewambia kuna moja aliwalipa na pesa wakatupia hiyo namba tuka call na simu ya best yangu at first he was hanging up and up what kwa like yeah it's true umsemi basi because mbona hang up simu hajui namba hajui ni nani so akaanza tulipiga simu yangu na simu ya best yangu we called kwanza to we called my phone uh, using my friend's phone she called mara ya kwanza na kwa zilikuwa na sauti nikasikia tu isiki so obviously simu moja wetu na pia simu moja wale walikuwa wameka pale there were two guys and one lady so they were not them plus so walikuwa hata wao simu zao zilikuwa kwa meza but they, it, they were different tables so of course they had even better phones than mine so nikajua tu si wao na venye waliniambia u jamaa mmoja aliniambia si wao jamaa amechukua phone na hata tumedhania yake kwa alikuwa ameka vitu zake chini hapa ju i think alikuwa na bag na ndipo alikuwa anarusha hiyo in machine so akienda place anakachomoa tu ka back back bag so anaeka chini so we called mara ya kwanza inalia aichukuliwi mara ya pili inakatwa mara ya tatu ikakatwa the, i think the fourth time ndio tulisikia zimu atukajua eh hey, ametuidia so after that u jamaa ndio alituambia ako na namba yake kwa sababu amelipa na pesa akatupia namba we called you know the dude hung up mbona hung up cuz i think aliona the same number iko inapiga kwa simu yangu ndo ndo inapiga hapo ya pili akahanga pia ya tatu so tuka ask for my friend my next friend's phone tukampigia nayo tukamwambia hey mambo we tricked him cuz najua ni mse hoka ni mse uzuru right just anywhere so uh tukaongea nikamwambia hey mambo poa kwa nini leo umetupita tukataka tupime wait asimam kwa api and then nikaangalia just somewhere cuz just somewhere near we, where we were to kwa place opposite ka, tulikuwa kasarani opposite shell petrol station kuna place kuna itoko hurakan wa huko and then hapo next kuna kwanga na place we eat fish inaitwa kawash kasarani if you are not new in kasarani you know that place kuna kwanga na samaki ya wakarusi so nikamwambia tu kwamba kawash he was like ah mimi nimeenda sana nimeteremka na huku kaa saa chini maybe kesho and i was like nikii insist sana ataruki atarukia then i told him okay ni sawa tuna kesho sawa kesho nitakupigia nikupigia na hii namba nikakaambia eh and i was like oh no akisi yangu iko na content mob nilikuwa nime shoot nilikuwa na shoot nyingine ya modo kintu if you have been watching me for a while i have nilikuwa nimepata kanini na wao and i've been working with them for quite some time right now na pia nilikuwa na zingine na fact ku post zilikuwa kwa hiyo phone pia like a week ago i had before phone yangu ipotee nilikuwa nime buy a washing machine so hizo videos zilikuwa kwa hiyo simu so i was supposed to post them before simu yangu ijue basi kwa nimezi edit hey, so nika imagine aki kuruzio content yote i mean nikam call too and then i offered him some money nikamwambia akinibishie tu simu yangu before niende police station cuz najua simu yangu itatrack you'd rather pay money it track you ipatikane cuz this is the second time to pay money uh, to to nini to lose a phone a good phone cuz manzi aki had sacrifice to get this phone unajua tu ukiwa content creator you just don't get any phone simu hivi hivi <laughs> Guys, you know nilishika huyo mwizi. For once nimeshika mwizi wa simu. I'll get there shortly. So nikam call nikamwambia, "Eh, najua umechukua simu yangu. Fanya aje, nilete tu hiyo simu jiko na vitu zangu mingi hapo na ni za maana. Then nitakupatia doki hasi, ataka ni 2k. Hata best yangu sasa mwongeza hata moja. Hata hili angechukua yangu sasa best yangu shukrani kwa nasmata hili angechukua hiyo simu yake cuz okay, okay, hana kasi mko hapo pia alikuwa amepoteza phone. Alikuwa tu anatumetuka simu tu. I think akienda sana nika 8k. So yangu if you remember I unboxed this phone in December. Ilikuwa ya kitu 34000. That is almost 40k. Kuangalia sasa hivi naona it actually 39. So sorry about that. Nimepigiwa. This is the phone I'm using. My friend mwenye ni shoot hapa ni yale nipeaka nitumie for the time being. By the way she's from Sikihara. Najua maybe kama ni wewe ni YouTuber ama wewe ni msiushai angalia channel yangu unamjua. Eh nitaandika kajina kake hapa kimwende mu she's a very good friend just go and subscribe to her channel so nilipatia aka at least ni nitumie for some time eh akimi god bless her yeye ndo ameniambia ni shoot hii cuz ana feel nimekuwa so much away and i appreciate her support so much so let's continue to the story abenye kulienda so phone sahi kuangalia naona ni 39k he mimi nikamwambia eh ndio tatu hapo kasimu and then i'll give you some money akanambia mimi hakuna simu nimechukua nikamwambia tumekupromote tu vizuri mpaka nimekwambia ukip change yani tu ile roho nzuri unaona and then he said that he hajachukua simu yote and then nikamwambia then the dude mwenye tulikuwa naye mwenye tulikuwa tumeenda kumita wa friend aka he picked the phone when i was speaking aka kwa kumsikia kumwambia cheki kijana yani aka kanamshua kumwambia ni ni aka ni ni karao askari karao inanichanganya nikamwambia unajesha hiyo simu nikikutrack utapenda ndio hapo kakaogopa kakasema mwezi nishika nimeenda sana So nikajua it's true he was the one who took my phone who took my phone So from there tukaenda kasarani police station with my friend we reported 
Okay, najua tu ukiripoti simu inakuanga ngumu kuipata. Not unless uko na connection sana. But in one way or another my dad alikuwa ananiambia hata ukipoteza kai ID just go and report. Mtu anaweza ichukua and ya frame place maybe watu wameuliwa and then ujipata umekuwa huko and you have no idea about what is happening. So nikasema maybe simu tena zenda you mtu auliwa mahali yako hapo and then wataangalia the last calls naye alikuwa anapiga nayo and it's me nijingishe kwa shida. So I went and reported. Wao kanisa simu ilikuwa ya how much? Wakaniambia uh, wataniambia venye kutaenda kuhusu kesi yangu. So I kept going. But ah mimi venye niliona ni kama wanisaidii nikaachana tu nayo. Then two weeks later tukaenda salon with my baby. Nikaenda kushukua hizi nywele. So sio ni September 9 simu imebiwa. So two weeks later such a Saturday. Yaani what a coincidence. Tukaenda tukaenda salon and then my cousin called me. Siku ana phone by then I think. Hiyo time ndio from Saturday akanipatia kaka simu nitumie. So he called me using another phone. Sasa kozi ndiko tunaenda salon. I still go do my hair there because that's where I used to live before we moved in here. So nikaenda and then she found me there at the salon. Tuka kama tuka drop mtu hii kwa nyumba and then she told me twende tukula tuka nyama at least tuache kuwa bored cause akikununua simu nyingine saa hii ni hectic. Si unajua venye uchumi imekuwa. Yaani I have I have not been working. My phone ndo inakuwa ngo ofisi yangu. So mi bila simu siwezi pata dog honestly. So you see uh, mi simu yangu ndo inafanya ngani? And for the time being yani nime for the time I've been home cause hii ilikuwa kama side hustle YouTube ilikuwa side hustle hiyo kufanya watu marketing hiyo kufanya watu adverts and i also act part time but without a phone i can't even access all those jobs so ili ni drain sana all my savings and katamani ilikula i got a machine nilipata i got a high sense 10 kgs which i was to unbox ikaenda na hiyo phone so when nitotoka salon hiyo place my cousin took me tuka kule nyama nikamwambia inasikia kwenda home akaniambia hapana tukae tu and then tukaka After some time guess who entered hiyo place kwa tunakula nyama the dude who stole my phone Unajua jamani kama ali notice cause alikuwa pa, alikuwa place kama pale akaingia my cousin akasema eh hey, mimi na feel me add wait akasimama akaenda akajipima mimi nikaangalia umse unajua niko naona ni kama na hota it's like i'm dreaming it's ni kama si uko ah ni kama ju niko na namba yake remember tulipewa namba yake so niko na dimension na 300 but i didn't have it waka ka phone cause na iPhone by then so my friend mwenye tulikuwa naye nikijua simu yeye ndo alikuwa nayo cuz we tried calling the guy using that phone na plus kuna sisi tulikuwa tumetumia namba am track akatombe sio mmeona kahawa west but they never helped us on a two person and i was like ah wacha tu nikaeka hivyo maybe nikipata job i'll save up and then get another phone akani nikamwambia eh niko na kabambe na juka na jizima hiyo bonyo ni nyona trick nijifanye simu kumbuki cuz nikianza ku scream ataenda nikamwambia hebu nipatie namba yako nilikuwa najua namba yake ni 0707 mwisho imeza imesha na 300 namba za tatu za katikati ndio sikuwa nakumbuka nikamwambia nipe namba yako nikutumie kwanza nijipime cause my phone is almost going off kabambe kana jizima do you know dude alikuwa nipatia namba yake ameina namba hivi 0707 wala siku ngoja hiyo namba ishi nilirukia huo jamaa nikamwambia nilikwambia Nairobi ni kidogo i told you Nairobi is small that's what i meant he nikamwambia simu yangu iko wapi Luckily place tuko kuna watu imagine walimfungia aki some people are good Samaritans I don't know them but aki Mungu awabariki walimfungia hapo venye walisikia kusema mimi yangu kwanza nimepoteza last week nikapata hata mwizi wa simu akichomwa siwezi muone huruma hata mimi nikasema hata mimi sio nimejijaza cuz I'm like hey mtu amefanya nimeteseka for the past two weeks sija shoot any content sijaweza ku post alipote na content mob nikamwambia wewe ulinibia simu kama nyamaza ingekuwa hujaibia mtu akuataki hivyo si unaweza kata na nguvu sana imagine kama jamaa alikamtumia tu wakakalisha pale chini they wanted to beat him up actually and i was like hapana acha nini hata tukimchapa na simu set yako nayo hapa atanipatia let's hear kama tunaweza pata simu yangu akaulizwa akasema mimi mwanzee mimi sina simu nikamwambia ngoja kidogo uh, kuzo yangu au nikamwambia pigia shuko shuko is the friend that nikijua simu alikuwa na ali 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 call mwambie atumie hiyo namba akatumia namba tukapiga wakamwambia kelea simu yako kama si wewe tutakuwa la uende nikamwambia mimi siwezi kelea mtu and siwezi taka atinishikishe mtu bure we na jowe ndo ulinibia simu na siwezi kosea na siwezi sahau na hiyo sura yako so akaikelea simu hapo kuzo wangu piga simu mara ya kwanza ikalia simu yake mara ya pili the that time and they were like umeekelewa umepata namba yako hapana umetoa pia namba yako you see yani nilikuwa naomba tu Mungu namwambia ki God right now you know my situation i don't have money to get another phone sahau mtu ameni drain amerudisha nyuma I remember that your time Mudokin Jugai the market ali Nicole akaniambia eh hey, mambo siende u shoot kikuyu hiyo branch ya kikuyu mambo bitani mepoteza phone at the time been siwezi so na naweza kati watu kungoja they still look for other influencers so Nicole like hey, yani Mungu unajua hiyo ndio job yangu 
as in the phone is my everything na sina do wengine na za phone at the moment and stay kongwa tu kasimu hivi kenya hata nikishoot mta niona mta kuwa bored me i believe in clarity na najua good videos and attract people so akaka hapo so nikamwambia hata ukikataa nilionyeshwa cctv footage venye ulichukua simu jamaa akashtuka watu walikuwa hapo ndio walimwambia sisi mtu kweli mimi nikapigia karao karao hata walikuwa kwa njia saa hiyo ndio nakasema yeye alichukua simu na mwenye alizia hakumbuki so si akakutia tukaenda police station it was saturday night i think nilikuwa narudi home almost midnight i came police wakaniambia ni the following day so that i can write another statement because nilikuwa nisha report but na fuck kwa statement nyingine sasa ama tuende tujue what what's next nikaenda police station so kuna mabeste zangu by the way alinisaidia sana kwa hata mmoja ndiye alinitumanishia hata msee huo karao mmoja ataka kujia and i called them in the middle of the night i know they were busy but they were still there for me and tukaenda nikaenda the following day sasa it was on a sunday kitu satano hapo i went with my cousin kuenda tukapata hako ka jamaa akako hapo and then like the family one was the mom moja alikuwa sister au nyingine sijui nikina nani but they were walikuwa tu watu wapo hapo wewe moja alikuwa nakatoi nikaenda tu hapo so mimi nikawapita siko najua who they were but niona kaka jamaa kama simama hapo hivyo so i went and told the askari eh nimerudi niko na kuja kuripota kaniambia kesi yako iko iko office number 11 Eh ama jamaa si na huo ndo ulibia simu. Muongee na yeye. Nikaenda kaniambia tuongee tu tafadhali. Mistai kushikwa tujue nyaje. Lakini nilikuwa nimeenda na box ya the phone that I had it was a Camo 19 Pro ilikuwa 34000 na receipt. Nikamuonyesha nikamwambia miss miss sina shida nilipe tu simu yangu that's all I ask cause imenipoteza a lot of works na sijaweza kubai simu nyingine at the moment natumia kababe so mimi ukinilipa tu simu yangu either tuende kwa safari kama shop ama kwa shop yote ya simu nilipie mnilipie simu mimi sina issue na yeye anaweza achiliwa and then he was like uh, so the mama nikasikia ukiongea okay, kikuyu hapa akasema oh niwe mwene dhimu ile ala ile as in hiyo inamaanisha this is the owner of the phone that our son stole our stole our son stole from si ndio <laughs> so tuko na kuzo yangu kwa kanita hapo makaraka tabia songeni songeni unajua ufai kusimama kama crowd kwa nini kwa police station mnafahamu nasimama na line so tuka nikamwambia tuangeni tu hapo nje nikamwambia mmeambiwa venye kumeenda akaniambia yeye tumeambiwa na mmefanya vi... ah mimi nikamweleza nikamwambia alinibia simu mpaka nikamwambia kama ni pesa yako anazo unajua mnaona anga maybe life iko hard saa hii msipe nyame pata chance ya kuamoka ndio anaenda nayo maybe aliona hiyo phone yangu akienda uza maybe and, and i'm so sure he never sold the phone past 5000 na uzangi expensive easy second hand phones nikamwambia hata kama alikuja nipatie hiyo dhambi na iko alikuwa na shida sana imagine I have understood so alinibia simu mpaka akaniambia ta siezi mpata he was very rude na nikamwambia Nairobi ni kidogo ntamshika so coincidentally he found me somewhere else na nilikuwa nasikia jai rudi kasa so please alitupata ilikuwa zima a different place so i explained to the mom everything nikamwambia mimi sina shida bora nilipe simu yangu jo hata jana alikuwa pigwe they even wanted to mob justice him nikamwambia hapana let's just go by the low way maki akasema nyinyi naona ni wasana wazuri na mimi si glorify wizi najua namekosea but kuongea ukweli hata tukurumanio okay ukurumanio ni kusemaje aki kama yeye ni mkiku na ezaelewa yani akasema hata wakayekwa hivi upside down hawezi pata hiyo pesa yote nikamwambia what what mimi nitafanya nini cuz alikuwa anafaa pale kwa hiyo tini the following day hmm. so tuka nikamwambia basi tupata nani hiyo uh, office number 11 tuone venye huko karawa kona kesi yangu atatu advice wakaanza kuniambia ati wanipatie kasimu kake and then some rich wa mount wa money wanilipange pole pole mind you who seem to najua i mind you anataka kunipatia simu yake na sijui kama hii simu alikuwa ameiba pia ama ni nene shiko tena pia mimi pesa kidogo kidogo watanilipaje si wajui i've never seen them i don't know whether i'll ever see them kazi yangu kanibia pana wacha na watu akiiba wakisikia anaenda kotini wangetoa pesa wewe twende tu uko tuandikishe statement kama watapata pesa hata kama ni 3 quarter of the money niseme basi nimeuza kaa 20000 hata sikuwa nataka ndio yote hata wanipatia even that 20000 so tukaenda hiyo ofisi and one of them was so rude anaanza kusema acha acha ende acha tuende kotini we will both lose na wao hakuna kitu watapata sasa wanatuongelea na mimi na kuzo yangu kuzo walikuwa na wanachukua wili he was not even remorseful so karamu moja alikuwa hapo akasikia mama yake akasema si tuandikiane mahali tulipiane pole pole then huko karamu na kesi yangu akasema mnaandikiana ni dedi wizi yezi andikiano he said that you pay the phone right now ama kesho waende kotini by then ikaona huko na reason okay siezi taka ati nifungishe mtu just because of a phone i can get but ni maybe wa simu and, and if you maybe wa simu unajua how painful it is unajua yani venye mtu urudi nyuma i would rather uni be pesa cause pesa nitapata nyingine but phone maybe you have saved so many documents in your phone so utakuwa apply job imekuwa ngumu cause all my, all my uh, documents are on my email so i've just been home 
So uh, tukaandikisha statement akachukua kwa fingerprint nini nini and then I came back home. So nikamwambia kazi yangu yeye mimi na feel vibaya na okay mimi siwezi nataka kufungisha mtu yani ile tu siwezi nataka kufungisha mtu juu ya simu if I had money ninge replace like I replaced last time because last time nilibiwa simu kama like within 3 days I had already got another phone nilibi yangu I think ilikuwa Redmi it was a very nice phone na yule nilinyang'anywa na msi wa motorbike na saa as in mtu yote amebiwa simu najua wazangi hata kusamehea mtu kama huyo so nikapigia karao the floor nikamwambia na kama watu wanaweza pata kitu kidogo si wanipatie and then I can withdraw that case kazi yangu ni mbona muone huruma naye akuone huruma me lose jobs ngapi mudoki ndio wao walikupigia sijui hoteli kwa sagana cause kuna hoteli nilikuwa na market i think on my previous video kama uli watch muli one muliona no mama wa kamkonje no bra 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 had so many things uh, nilipoteza by that phone hata unboxing yako ya washing machine vile uko umeshoot unadhani unaweza peleka washing machine huko ground floor tena ama kwa hiyo shauku kulinunua ati ndio unbox tena yani usimhurumie and nikiangalia kazi yangu alikuwa na reason yeye yeah, amefanya upoteza vitu mingi sahi content youtube hata uweze lipo hii mwezi kwa sababu hujaku shoot and i was like by the back of my mind nikona enyewe ni kweli ukara akaniambia ah watu walikuwa wanatifanya kwa nauti sana unajua kuna watu mingi yeye yeah, anadilingeleza okay sana akaniambia unaona anga wengine wanasema hata tuko na 20000 wacha tuwapatie hii and then tujue ni aje wao wakasema wana nikauliza mko na pesa ngapi jo walikuwa wanasema wanipe kitu kidogo before on the home sasa hiyo sande sasa so, si hatuna kitu lakini tutalipa pole pole so nikabaki like ah nikachukua fingerprint na i think the next uh, day akapeleka kwa industry area but before peleka kwa industry area i think napigiwa so i'll call her later so uh nikaambia hata shape peleka kwa industry area i think mtu peleka kwa kotini ukikataa ndio i think unashikwa like for two weeks kitu kama hiyo if i'm not wrong ukikubali unaweza pewa uh, fine and then unaweza case ukiwa nje ukiku... so a few days later after that yani nilikuwa na feel relieved hata kama hata nilipa simu i would like i would have wanted sana akuwe funzo kwa wenye wana tuibianga masimu cause it's not it's not it's not good honestly sasa hivi ni drain sana sijaweza kunua simu i can't believe ni mimi but i'm hoping for the best and after a few days uko kadawa kani call akaniambia imagine the guy aliyetiliwa na cash bill ya 20000 i was like kama wangekuwa na hiyo 20000 i told them hata wangeni kulipa hiyo simu hivyo ni withdraw case akaniambia sio na wanajifanya kwa na ujauri sana so case ime kwa next year date 6 mwa tarehe 6 sijui 2024 was like in don mamuni kwa na avoid ya kwenda kushinda kikesi kotini but i was told in case nishinde kesi atashikwa and then i'll be paid the phone so of course yes ngo all that long so uh, trying to save up kidogo kidogo nione kama nitapata phone and if you are a well wisher there willingly you can support me i'll put my number here down below kitu kidogo tu haba na haba hujaza kibaba and i'll truly appreciate guys we uh, trust kama mnani miss mna miss content yangu at least rudi uh, so that i can get a phone Thank you so much for watching until this end if you have watched I hope si kombori na tell in stories yeah but actually honestly nataseka sana cause ya phone but if you are willing I will really appreciate so I'll put the safari com number here that you can send something and also you can call me and tell me you are a fan or maybe who you are and I'll let you know on my next video and kama hamna pia ni sawa I'll keep on saving up until I get another phone for now until I see you again through